Hey everybody, this is Gaming Ultimatum, welcome back to some more Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon. In the last episode, we, uh, did a couple more missions. Estella was forced to, you know, not go with us, but hey, we still went. In this episode, we're going to be going with Nuzleaf up to Revelation Mountain. Preparing for this expedition, um, we're actually fairly good. Maybe get rid of these items. But that's really it. Here we go. Alright, let's do this. Real casual, like, just play it cool. Vildin, today is my day for guard duty. But no one ever wanders by, and I have, have nothing to guard against. But if anyone does come by, I will have to run them off, alright? That's the path to Revelation Mountain, huh? So Hippopot Hippopotas is on guard today. The adults in the village all take turns it turns at it, I know. So, what are we, what are we gonna do? Just you watch. Huh? Mr. Nazif? What's the matter? Sorry friend, I just found out that the that there was a little sip of on the old guard duty. Turns out that I'm apparently I'm supposed to be on guard today. You are? Well, I truly do thank you for telling me. To be perfectly honest, I do not much like pulling guard duty. But a boy, yes? So I will just leave the rest up to you. I reckon it worked. Then shall we go? Up Revelation Mountain. Revelation Mountain, the mountain that is being guarded by... The game randomly decides if it wants to lag or not. Let me do something real quick. I'm hoping this can help a little bit. Uh, nope. Okay, hopefully this one. Okay. I had to lower it a bit, but here we go. I'm actually... Uh... Sleep guard, we'll just use that for HP. Okay, maybe this will work. <sighs> maybe this. I have to lower it a lot more, but looks like that's helping you run. Apples in the process, eh? Looks like there's some. Oh, of course, they would break before we can get to them. Revelation Mountain's a pretty big mountain to go across. It's just gonna probably take a while for us to actually get up. We have to be lucky with our placement and get next to the staircases. But we can also use this to get some items. It can be pretty useful. One time I try to use it on an enemy that's actually weak against it, it misses! Let's try going up here. Yep, over here. I don't remember exactly how big Revelation Mountain was, but I know it's a pretty large mountain. 
So if we're lucky enough with our placement of the staircases, we'll be able to get across pretty easily. Barrage came in to help us there. Strangely enough, Revelation Mountain has a lot more dark type Pokemon. So, real for real, Lou, this is actually pretty easy. Especially since we know two fighting type moves one close and one long. Yep, this one had a Power Boost X. We'll give it to Zilla. We'll quit that. We keep getting luckier. The placements, at least. We're getting through the floors a bit faster. This is probably where it's gonna be, where it's gonna change. It's gonna take us up for Oh! Never mind. I was gonna say, it's probably gonna take us forever to get to the stairs. But we find them pretty easily. Looks like we're pretty far up now. Oh, look at that! It looks like there's an open space up ahead there. Let's check it out then. There's the sheriff and his boys. And they even got the likes of Beedrill and Polyrath out here on guard. To be real with you, I never even thought this would be this much of a guard. If we try to force our way through, we end up in some serious trouble. Well, it's a real shame, but looks like this is the end of the line for today. I reckon we're going to have to pack it in. I sure do hate to do it, though. We might have found something out if we could have just seen what lies up ahead. I'm sorry, Loyam. We might even we might have even found out why you came to this world, Loyam. Or at least some hint at, at, at a reason why. But we got no choice. Not with that many eyes watching that place. It's like my old pop said. This is a sacred place for the village. I don't think it would be it would have sat right with me to barge in. So maybe this is for the best. I reckon so. Well then, I reckon I might go talk to hip with hip up. Hippopotas. I'll have to apologize and tell him that the tale about the mix-up was all mixed up. So I guess I'll be heading back first. See ya. I guess we should head on head home too, huh? Then. Unfortunately, not much progress was made today. I guess we can learn anything at Revelation Mount after all. Why in the world did I become a Pokemon? If I wait a little longer, my memory will come back. I thought I'd be able to figure something out if I just hung around here a while. But now I'm not so sure. Those Behemoths still worry me, though, too. We're all right for now, but if those Behemoths show up here, I don't want to get everyone in the village caught up in this mess. So I know what I have to do. Maybe it's about time to get moving. I may have to leave the village. I'll have to leave everybody, even Estella, behind. It's going to be hard. If I stay, it'll just cause trouble for everyone. Let's do our best out there today. Obviously, we're gonna do our normal thing. Let's first check the connection orb. Huh. Doesn't seem to be any new requests. That's strange. Do we have. There are no requests. I've got a bad feeling about this. I know what you mean. It's pretty creepy. What's wrong? There's something. There seems to be some suspicious Pokemon hanging around here. Suspicious Pokemon? Yeah, they've been hanging around at the outskirts of the village the past few days. They seem to be looking for some, but there's something eerie about them. They got these big heads. There's three of them, always roaming around together. C could it be? They're so creepy. They were staring up a dude the other day, and then they all start flashing lights on their fingertips at each other. Yeah, their fingers light up. 
What's up with that? Is that how they communicate with each other? No doubt about it. It's the BM. They made it all the way to the village. Shut up about how they were stealing at Redoux. They must be looking for a child. Who knows what nastiest are up to now, too. You two take care now. Uh, seems to be him again. Are now at the village. Oh, there's two Pokemon up here that we haven't talked to. Oh, it's the little system. The view from up here is the best, isn't it? We're doing it. We're doing nice things for Pokemon. All in secret. Don't worry. The VM had come to the village. Any new Pokemon in here? There's one. Oh yeah! Dance, dance! Ludicolo dance! Oh yeah! A reference to Explorers of Sky, where he would be shown if you get the lottery. We're doing the lottery. Okay, let's check now, maybe. Maybe we have to see that cutscene. Nope. It seems like we're not getting any requests. If you heard that, that was my switch. There's a lot of... We can go to... A, we can just go and train. Alright, I'm just gonna go ahead and go train, so I'll see you guys when we get back. Okay, looks like learning's gonna be learning a new move. Oh, we can learn Force Palm! Yeah, that's actually a pretty useful move. We'll replace Quick Attack. With force bomb. All right, let's check the statuses of our party. Mostly, I'm going to be focusing on getting Estella and Lorium to good levels, so we need to stay for a little while longer to train up Estella. See you guys when we're done with this dungeon, or when Estella levels up. Looks like we're done for today. Hey, Lorium, don't you think we're getting a lot better at this? <laughs> I've been feeling more and more confident lately. If we keep up the good work, maybe we can graduate from our junior status. I mean, I think we can handle real expedition society work now. Yeah, we definitely can. No doubt about it. Stella is really excited. Maybe now isn't the time. But I'm afraid those beam are going to show up here sooner rather than later. When it happens, everyone will get caught up in my problems. I can't let that happen. I guess I just had to leave here. I had to say something to Estella. Huh? What's wrong, Lorium? You've got a look on your face like you were hit in the stomach or something. What? You were actually attacked by those suspicious Pokémon? And you escaped to Serene Village? And now those Pokémon are right outside the village. So you're going to leave to protect the other villagers. But I finally have a friend. But, well... I knew when you told me you used to be human that you were different. I think, but I didn't know you've been through all that. I wish we could be together forever. But I understand why you're worried about the other villagers. I guess you do have to leave. Oh, I'm crushed. Or at least I was for a second. If it has to be that way, then I know what I have to do. I'm going to leave the village too. What? This works out nicely. I've been wanting to get out of this silly old village anyhow. We've gotten a lot stronger, so I think we can make our way in the world okay. Even those Behem or whatever they're called to tag us. We better, we'd be better on battling them together instead of just you all by yourself. So that's it, Lorian. We're leaving the village together. I need to get home and work on convincing my old pops. See you tomorrow, Lorian. Just as headstrong as ever. I think it's still not strong enough to battle those Behem now, though. Maybe it would be a good idea to leave together. After all, I had to talk to Nuzzy, too. Who's on the what now? <laughs> Them behem were just outside the village? And you don't want to cause any fuss for everyone else, you say. You fixing to leave. Even the other villagers have been so good to me. And that's exactly why I can't let anything happen to the village. I see, except I reckon I can't leave you let you leave the village. What? It ain't like the behem have already found you, and there is no way to tell from some rumors if it's really them behem. If you don't take care, them behem could find you out there. I reckon you should just wait it out here. Yeah, you actually put right here in this village. Got it? No safe. I 
didn't think he would oppose me. When well, Rosalia and Radke told me, it has to be those BEM. Why is not Nuzleep trying to stop me? But if he says no, I can't just up and leave the village anyway. But I, but I also can't just let the BEM come find me here. What should I do? It's no use. I have no clue what to do. I guess I should just sleep on it. Oh yeah, I wonder how things went with the cell. You fool! How many times do I have to tell you? It doesn't matter what you say. I want to go. I want to get out of this village and join the real expedition society. I want to join the expedition society and see everything this world has to offer. Why can't you understand that? Sounds like it's not going well. And I keep telling you, it's too dangerous out there. It's not just me who thinks so. Everyone in the village agrees. Don't you have any common sense? I guess I don't. Maybe there, that is common sense. But I don't think everyone really thinks that way. Hey, where do you think you're going? I'm going to talk to everyone in the village. We'll see what they think. Oh, Lorium! Why can't my old pops understand? Let's go, Lorium. Where? To the plaza! We have to ask everybody if they think we can make it out our our own outside the village. I think everybody knows how hard we've been working lately. I'm going to prove my old pops wrong. Let's go to the plaza. We have to ask the other villagers. Doc, yeah, now you have to actually talk to every single villager, so hopefully you had them know where to find most of them. Though, luckily, most of them are in the plaza, so you'll be fine. You say? Well, you say the two of you are leaving the village. How reckless! Estella has always said these things, but I think he is very dangerous. Are you both leaving? Okay, we have... What? You're going to leave our village? Just the two of your kids? I certainly have been impressed by the work you two have put in lately. I still think rushing away from the village could be a reckless move. There's school to think about, too. I think you have better hold up a little longer. Well, let's check out the school, maybe, before we actually go by the village. Check every... Check the facilities. Hey, we found tiny revival seeds, so hey, man. All bad. I'm just making sure nobody here is here at the school. He's at the school, so we're just gonna head back. Head back. What? You say you're leaving? It's too soon for cute kids like you to go leaving from the top rope. Take it slow, Haka! Huh? You're going to leave? Oh, if that's the case, I'll really miss you. But part of me does want to see you achieve your dreams. Won't it be hard, though? All the grown-ups will definitely try to stop you. Huh? The two of you are going on a trip? Oh, so I've always dreamed of leaving the village, but if you guys are gone, I won't get to see you at school anymore. What? You say you're taking a trip? But what about school? What about your studies? And another thing, are you sure you should be telling your teacher this? What's a teacher to do in a spot like this? Unbelievable. Outside the village? I can't allow you to do that. Many dangerous look outside the village. You're leaving here? What a terrible idea. Far too dangerous. What? You're going? You're gonna leave the village? No way. There's absolutely no way you can make it out there. I mean, you guys are still just kids. Huh? You want to see the outside world? There's no way. What? Did you say you're leaving the village? There's no way you can pull off something like that. The grown-ups will never let you. Uh, my old pops. I guess he was right. All the girls said we couldn't make it. I guess there's no way as long as we're kids. Yeah, I know. I know they're just worried about us, and that is nice of them. I wish they would try to understand. That's my dream to leave, and that takes a lot of courage to do that. Hey, Lorium, I just realized something. I acted like I was just going along with you and leaving the village. But that's not the truth. I always dreamed about being in the Expedition Society. 
always dreamed of leaving the village. So really, even if you weren't here, I would have wanted to leave. That's how I always felt. But... <sighs> Stella. Sorry, Lario. Looks like we can't go together. Oh, actually, about that. What? Nuzli said no? Huh, so you've been told not to leave the village, too. Are those beings still after you? Why won't they understand? <sighs> just thinking about it is making me tired. I don't feel like doing anything. I guess we should just go home for now. Huh? Just now, I could have sworn we were being watched. Maybe it's just my imagination. I didn't see those being him today either. Maybe I should just stay here in the village like Nuzli says, but if they did show up here, what would I do? Yeah, this is probably going to be one of the longer episodes. Good morning, Lorium. Let's go get him. What's going on? This is a major attitude adjustment from yesterday. I guess everything's fine. Yeah. Could I ask you for your advice on about something later? Advice? Yeah. I did a lot of thinking last time. I realized something. Well, let's just talk about it later. For now, let's do our best as junior exodus society members today. Let's check the connection orb. See if we actually have any new quests. Uh, nope. So today would just be another day of training. I think it's strange how we haven't had any expedition quests for a while. Maybe it's that when you're getting close to a certain point, you stop getting the request for a little while. I'm not exactly sure about that. Well, I guess we'll go out and do some more training. I don't think I'm gonna just go to the open pass. So, see you guys when we're done. See you guys when we're done here. Luckily, that was a very short one, so we didn't have to do much. Good job, Lorian. We put in good work again today. That reminds me, didn't you have something you wanted to talk about? What could it be? Yeah, uh, about that. The thing is, I'm gonna go ahead and leave the village anyway. Well, I'm not going to tell anybody. I'm just going to sneak out today. I know that's not the best way to go about it, but I can't think of any other way. I'll set out for Lively Town. I'm planning to go there and join the Expedition Society. I'm ready to go all by myself, but what are you going to do, Lorian? I want to join the Expedition Society with you, Lorian. Partly because we've been working as Junior Expedition Society members a while. But also, just being around you makes me feel stronger for some reason. What do you say, Lorian? Will you come with me? Really? I don't like just sneaking away like this. But when I consider to be him, leaving is my only option. I've got no plans beyond getting out of here either. So I might as well try to join the Expedition Society with Estella. Th thanks, Lorium. Alright, let's head home and get ready for our journey. We can meet up in front of our houses once it's nighttime. Hasta la vista, Lorium. Let's do our best, Lorium. Huh? It felt like someone was watching us again. But no one's there. There's something not quite right here. Or maybe I'm just imagining things. Looks like we plan to leave tonight. It's been dark out for a while now. I guess it's about time to leave. Nuzleaf, thanks for everything. I'm so sorry to be sneaking away like this. No, we're not resting yet. We gotta leave. Let's slam out the window. Alright, it's time to go. Nuzleaf, you took me in and let me stay. Thank you so much. Lorium, did you get away clean? That's good. Let's get going then. Pops, I'm really sorry to be sneaking away like this. You always took such good care of me, even though I was nothing but trouble. I'm sure I'll be back when I'm grown. So until then, sorry. Let's go. Oh yeah, before we leave the village, would you come up to the hill with the big tree with me? I want to get one last look at it. Please come along. Well... 
We're leaving, so we might as well. One last look at the tree that oversees the entire village. I wanted to get a good look and look at the scenery. It's finally time to leave the village. Of course, I love my old pops. And all our friends from school, and even the teachers, too. There's all this beautiful scenery. Just nothing but good things. And now that we have to leave, I feel the sadness filling up inside of me. But we do have to go. Onward, toward our dreams. Thanks, Lorian. I'm sure of it now. Let's leave the village. And if you're wondering, no, the bottom path over here is not how you get out. You gotta go through the gate. Let's kind of try and... Let's just walk over. Here we go, Lorian. Time to leave. Wait! Huh? You're all here, but why? He came to see you off. See us off? Yeah, did you think we were going to let you sneak off in the night? I figured this is what you two were up to. Why are you trying to take the credit? Wasn't Esther who first found out and told everybody? Esther? Sorry, I thought you two had been acting suspicious for a while. So I took the liberty of following you. Good luck, you two. I'll be sad when you're gone. But I'll be cheering for you. Gumi. Of course, I'll be cheering for you too. Take care of your swords, and good luck. I've got to admit, I'm a little jealous that you have a dream. Good luck. Dearling, show it. I'll be cheering for you too. Good luck. Well then I guess I'll be cheering for you guys too. So good luck out there. As for Panchim, thanks everybody. Honestly, we were just planning to leave without saying goodbye to anyone. I'm happy you all came to see us off. It's not just us. Huh? Look. What's this? These are letters, letters from everybody in the village. The villagers? Sorry, we kind of told the adults too. The grown-ups should have just come to see you off with the rest of us. I guess it's what they call trying to save face. I think they're just being nice. This just seems like a hassle to me. But go on and read them. You've always been kind of a brat, Stella. But I'm jealous of the way you... You're chasing your dreams. Try not to eat too much. Take care. When you are feeling lonely, remember the village. Everybody! A child's dream can't be, destro be destroyed by adults. Best of luck to you. Best of luck to you. The principal! Let's see, how can I put this? Even if you were a problem, children. If you work hard, maybe you won't be so problematic. And on that note, good luck! Even the vice principal. Good luck. Estelle and Lorian, I believe in you. I was quite surprised when I heard the news yesterday. I'm glad you opened up to me. Good luck. Good luck. Follow your dreams. School is important, but it's important to go after what you want in life, too. Take good care of yourselves, and good luck. Everybody. Everybody. We have a shop in Lively Town, too. So you have nothing to worry about. Good luck. Time to let these kids fly away on their journey. Be brave and never give up. Take care, and good luck. It wasn't that the adults didn't understand what we were saying. They were just looking out for us and encouraging us. There's one from my pops. Go on, Estella. See you when you get back. Your adventurous spirit can't be contained. If you think you're ready, go see your dreams to the end. Pops. Good luck to you, Lario. We just happened to meet, and you came to live with me. I reckon it sure enough was fun having you around, Lario. I reckon I can't help but worry, but I'm cheering for you. Take care. Nuzleaf. Aw, oh, everybody. Thank you all. We'll do our best. We'll give everything we got. All of you, take care too, okay? Alright everybody, see you when we get back. Bye for now, Serene Village. Good luck. Take care and have fun. Well, 
next time on Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon. We'll be heading to Lively Town to see if we can join the Expedition Society. See you guys next time.